Hey, what is going on guys? Alpha Gamer 12 here with another episode of The Road to Glory and today we're doing something new again. So today we're going to be doing some squad building. Not the challenge, it's just building a squad. Alright, so I just need to stop myself right there really quickly because that's not the only thing we're going to be doing right now today. So actually at the end of the two squad builders, we're going to be opening up a bunch of packs that I did SPCs for and... Um, rewards for division rivals I think and one of the clips that I've left in guys where I pack a big player I don't know what happened with my microphone so I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for how the audio turned out it turned out really really bad and I'm apologize for it and I'm looking into why that happened and hopefully it never happens again so one of the things that I want to do with this series is I want to be a resource for you guys, not just to help you make coins, but the review that I did a couple of days ago, I want to continue to do that kind of thing. I want to pick up players that I think a lot of people would want to try to use and cycle them through my team one so that we can use them as investments and stuff if we can do that if we can manage to fit that in and two because i want to be able to help you guys uh with players that you're thinking about so if i try the player first then you know if they're good or they're bad or just meh or whatever i can be a resource for you guys to help you understand which players are worth and aren't worth picking up so what i think i'm gonna do is i played a bunch of games with this prem team so i would like to like revamp this entire prem team and get rid of the most of the players in here probably all of them to completely to be completely honest except for the ones that i haven't reviewed yet so that's gonna be uh zaha ndombele and keppa and then build a new team around them the only person who's not gonna go anywhere is Arye because he is here as in an investment so i'm gonna go away give me a minute i'm gonna list up all of these guys and i will see you guys in a second all right guys, so I realized in between the little bits that I forgot to pick up right mid and look at them. So I looked through and I felt like Woolian was the perfect mix of, you know, somewhat expensive, but also kind of affordable and also just looks really good. So we have him, Fraser. I think the team looks a lot better. I think it looks a lot more solid than it did before. So that's the end of that. That's the end of this part of the squad builder. I also want to do something else. I want to do a um, league, uh, uh, not league, uh, sorry, a Serie A team because I have picked up a couple of players. Obviously, uh, we did the Sanchez SBC a while ago, so I would like to be able to use him somehow. And other than him, we also have, um, hold on, I need to move over. We'll talk about these bronze players in a minute. Uh, we have Zapata, we have Pazella, though I'm not sure I really want to use him, but he looks really good. If we put an engine on him, he'd probably be a really good player to have. We also have um, a couple of players in the club. I don't think I have, yeah, I don't have anyone else here, but I have a couple of other uh, Serie A players that we could use. So I want to try to build a Serie A team. I don't know if that means uh, I, I want to be saying goodbye to my uh, Ligue 1 team. But that is certainly a possibility. Only problem is, is we also still have, um, what's his name? We have, uh, the, the, uh, Koscielny and we have the Sarabia who may get an inform this week. So I'm not sure. All right, guys. So I've gone through and I've sat here and I've looked at it and I think this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to mix my two teams together make sure everyone gets on cam. And again, the second team is going to be the same kind of thing as the first team where I'm setting it up in a way where uh, I'm getting to review players. Obviously, I'm still going to use the ones that I have, but I get to review players that look like they're going to be interesting, but at the same time, look at ones that could possibly be investments for you guys. The only one I'm not sure about is Kimpembe. We might try a different center back. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with the choices that I've made. We have a defensive central midfielder. We have a great front three. We got good wing backs. I'm, I'm already happy with uh, uh, Bain, uh, Burnett. Sorry. So I'm going to go pick up these guys, and I will see you guys in a second. All right, guys. So I picked up all the players, and honestly, the team is looking really good. I am really happy with the way that this has turned out. Um... No, 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 don't give him a hunter. I don't want to put a hunter on him until I know that I like him. But yeah, I am I am super, super pumped. Uh, let me just really quickly put a bit on that. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oops. Okay. Well, I got outbid anyway. It doesn't matter. All right, so I'll go actually pick that up, and then we'll done, and we'll I'm going to jump into a couple games, and then I will let you guys know in a couple of episodes' time how all of these and the players from the other team, all of them, how they play. So, yeah. 
Uh, I think actually that's going to be the end of this episode because it's already been a little while and I don't want to stretch it out for too long. Before I do that though, I'm going to show you guys how much I picked up the new players for. So, we have Kimpembe, I picked up for 13k, uh, almost 14k. Malkut was 3.8. Zielinski is dirt cheap. He looks like a steal, to be completely honest with you. Brozovic is another investment because he's a week one or two uh, in form for pretty much discard price, so that's great. Um, Zapata was dirt cheap. He's the same kind of thing. He's a... Uh, What's it called? He's an investment for later. Quadrado I got for 5k, which I think is an insane price for him, though I definitely need to put a chemistry style on him to fix his finishing. Give me one second. I'll put the English team in. All right, we can actually, actually do it from here. So hold on. Let me just throw Prem on, and I'll show you guys. So first of all, Lacazette we packed. Kepa we packed. Zaha we packed. Oh, yeah, you guys already know, know we picked up for 22k. Cresswell I picked up for 13.5, so he's pretty much a, like dirt cheap. Same thing for Maguire, 13.5, really cheap. Willian 14.25. I think Willian is the is the one of the only players that I've picked up for these two teams that actually has a really high chance of me losing a bunch of coins on because he's really expensive and he isn't a very high rated player. Frazier I picked up for 5k. He also has a little bit of a chance for going down to Kure and uh, Ndombele have just from having in the club. Bai I have from being in the club and I don't think there's anyone else actually. Yeah, that's it. That's all of the players that we have. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of just thinking about the team and picking up a new team. If you guys did, please leave a like and a comment. Let me know if you guys are excited to see the uh, reviews for this team and seeing how well this team kind of plays and as well as the English team. If you guys have used any of these players and want to give me a suggestion or think that I should use a different player in a different uh, position or if you guys just want me to try out a player in general, please let me down in the uh, let me know down in the comments and I will do my best to try them out. Uh, so leave a like, leave a comment, please. And if you guys haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. It's really appreciated. And as always, guys, I will see you guys next time. Okay. That's good so far. Oh, it's a walkout. French. Striker. Uh, oh, no, actually, that's pretty good. That's Lacazette. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought it was Giroud for a second. That is nice. I will take Lacazette. Thank you very much. He did get a pace downgrade, though. I don't think I want to use him, but Lacazette is certainly a couple of coins that we can keep hold of, and then we can list them up eventually, and we'll make a nice amount of profit on him. So it was 11k, and then we have four packs. So which one is the worst? We're gonna go players back. Probably this one. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna open them all up anyway. Let's hope we get something good. I don't know. We've opened a lot of packs. No walkout. Okay. On Yakuru. That's um that's pretty bad. I do have to say that is pretty bad. Okay. No walkout. That's pretty bad as well. Cool. I mean, it is what it is. Um, as far as I know, none of those go for anything. So, so far, it's been disappointing, but even though it is the disappointing, um, it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's nothing. I think that's just, yeah, normal player. Okay. And yeah, those Laros, all right. So, again, I'm, I'm not disappointed. Obviously, I wish. Okay, no. So, saying I'm not disappointed is a weird way to say it, because I am disappointed because obviously you're always disappointed when you don't get anything good in the pack. But I'm not, like, unhappy about it, because uh, as I've said a hundred thousand times on this channel before, um, all of these players, no walkout, will eventually be worth something, right, to you, whether it's in an SBC or it's just them selling because uh, their price has gone up or something, so just open all the packs you possibly can because they all will be worth it and they will all be worth something to you eventually. That's actually not too bad. I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna list that up. You never know what these things sometimes go. Uh, Chaka might be worth a little bit. Nope. Okay, but eventually he will. What about this dude? Probably goes for like 1.2 or something like that. What about you? Nope. 
I doubt he goes for anything right now, but I will keep him because eventually his price will go up. Alright guys, so I just wanted to apologize again for the weird audio quality for pack when I packed La Cazette. And I also wanted to say I'm sorry for how quiet I was and weird. I think it was really, really early in the morning when I did the last little segment where I was opening those packs. So as you guys could probably guess, if you guys were looking at the record, there's quite a while in between the two sets of things that I did. So the first uh, little bit was done on one day, and then packing La Cazette was another day, and then the rewards were another day. So everything was a little jumbled up, and I'm sorry, but I wanted to give you guys a video that was kind of like... Uh, more entertaining and with a lot more stuff than just let's play a game or let's just do one of those three things that I had. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. Let me know down below if you guys did like the fact that I put them all together or if you guys would rather have seen them all separately or something like that. If you guys haven't subscribed, please do. It's really appreciated. And as always, I will see you guys next time.